Hey guys, so listen, for those of you who had tuned in earlier, we had to sign off because we were having some connection issues. So we're gonna start this again. So welcome to my hair and scalp clinic here in Arlington, Virginia. My name is Dr. Keith Harley. I'm a trichologist and hair and scalp specialist. I am not a doctor. I am not a medical doctor. So let's be clear. I just want to let you know that in the beginning of this video, I'm a trichologist. And the definition of what a trichologist is, is the study of hair and scalp. So I'm a licensed cosmetologist and I went back to school to study trichology, which is hair and scalp disorders. So that just will give you a general idea why I am coming to you today to talk about hair loss. So let me just tell you real quickly the reason why we made a decision. Good morning, Leah. The reason why we just made a decision to do this video was because we launched a product yesterday. And I'm not going to talk about that product right now because it, this is not about the product. This is about the calls that we received yesterday. We received tons of phone calls and I would say 85% of the calls were about one subject and the same issue and the same problem. And as I began to log these issues as we were ans answering questions, we decided that we would come on live to address some of these issues that people were calling us about or calling our hotline to ask questions about the hair product and the problems that they're having and so on and so forth. So me and my assistant, Karimus, decided we needed to make sure that we address these issues. So what I'm going to talk to you about today is hair loss and what were some of the calls we were getting yesterday. And for those of you who are tuning in that is live, not the recording that are live, that want to join me and ask questions, you're welcome to do so. I can see you when you put in the request and I'll let you come in and ask a question, okay? So what I wanna talk about is some of the calls we got yesterday. Some of the women and men were calling and saying, I am thinning in my crown and I'm thinning in my edges. They want to know, can this situation be resolved? Could that situation be fixed? Well, it depends. It depends. It could be scarring. It could be due to stress. It could be due to medications. It could be due to thyroid disorders. It is a variety of things that could be the reason why men and women are thinning in the top or around the edges, particularly women. Now, the common, the common, uh, uh, thing that we see is a lot of women, especially in the African-American community, are using uh, lace front wigs, wigs for styling, those sorts of things. They're applying the lace front wigs using the wrong types of adhesives or glues or whatever the case may be, and they don't know how to remove them properly, and they're literally ripping the, the hair pieces off of their heads in this area. And what they're doing is they're pulling out the hair bulbs and they're creating permanent scarring. Now, don't get me wrong. These hairstyles are absolutely beautiful. They're incredible. However, there is a proper way to do it and there's a proper way to remove it. And there are some people that need to get it and there are some people that don't or should not get it. And you need to make sure that you need to go to a professional to determine whether that's for you. Now, let me tell you what a professional is. That is not going to a beauty supply store. Good morning, that Miss Franklin. That is not about going to a uh, beauty supply store and someone that works in that beauty supply store who is not licensed, who don't know anything about hair, who does, who has never been to hair school or anything of that nature, they try a wig on you or something of that nature and they apply it to your scalp and you walk away thinking you're cute and you look great. But the end result, the end result is that if you don't properly remove it or you're not moving it, removing it on the regular basis, that you're damaging you're out of perimeter. You're pulling your edges out. You're, put, you're, you're creating permanent damage. 
I know you want to look good. Those young girls, the millennials and, and girls that are in high school and, and uh, college students, they want this long, luxurious, luscious hair. You can get that. But you got to do it properly. So I'm not, again, I'm not downing these businesses. I don't want you to think that I'm out here saying, oh, these businesses are bad because I'll get emails saying you're trying to ruin my business. That's not what I'm telling you. If you work in a beauty supply store and you're selling hair pieces, hair wigs and all of that, then you should be educated enough to know how to apply it. Educated enough to how to remove it. Hi, Dr. Shawan. Listen, doc, let me tell you, there's another trichologist that is on this live right now. And hopefully she will come on live so she could say hello to you, too. She is absolutely incredible. We do work together. So, um, Dr. Shawan, if you can... Put in ad and I'll see it and I'll accept you so you can say hello to everybody. She's in the Ohio area. Uh, she's a colleague of mine that's in the trichology business. She's absolutely incredible. And if you get the opportunity, you should follow her. But let me say this to you. If you're going to wear, if you're going, good morning, Sharita from uh, Huntsville, Alabama. Um, if you're going to wear these hair pieces and if you're going to do these types of services, Go to a professional. Stop going to YouTube thinking you're going to get your license from YouTube. You're going to create this amazing hairstyle. And then the end result is that you're going to mess up your hair and your scalp. And then there's nothing that you can do about it because you've created permanent damage. So that's another point. We got a lot of calls yesterday. Why are my not edges are not coming back? Why is it that my hair is now damaged? And nine times out of 10, most of the calls that we receive, most of the calls that we receive, I had to ask them, have you been wearing hair pieces? Have you been wearing extensions? So on and so forth. And it was told to me, yes. Well, let's talk about why you did that and how you did that and who did that and where'd you get it done and so on and so forth. So we had to come up with solutions to see, to see if they could correct the problem, if it's permanent damage or what are some of the things that they have to change. Now, guys that are out there, we have a lot of men that were calling yesterday. They were asking us questions. Why are they losing their hair at the top? There could be several reasons. There could be low testosterone. It could be stress. It could, hi, Ms. Thomas. It could be, um, it could be, uh, you know, uh, uh, high blood pressure medication. There are a lot of things that could create in men male pattern baldness. There are a lot of things that you can do to slow down the process. And there are some things that you can do to get the hair to come back. But it's not always a, a fix-it situation. Sometimes it's hereditary. Sometimes there isn't anything that we can do about it. And if people tell you, one of the things that you will see that I post, we can help you with your situations. We can't promise you that it'll be fixed. But we can help you with your situations to see if we could be in a preventive stage, we could be in a maintenance stage, or we can be in a corrective stage. Good morning, LaShawn. So that is some of the things that we need to determine as trichologists and hair and scalp specialists to determine what is best for you. Now, those of you who are in the beauty industry that you need to get more education about these issues, there's a couple of things that you can do. Dr. Shawan, she offers a class on here. Look her up. You can go back to your Milady book because a lot of the situations, back, I call it back to the basics. That's what I'm doing. Back to the basics. There's a tour where I'm coming around talking to people about back to the basics. You can go to the book Look in the section when it deals with anatomy and it talks about this. It talks about what goes on internally that affects the body externally when it comes to skin, hair, nails, so on and so forth. Next, I'm trying to make it quick because I don't want to keep you long too long. Hey, Tony. Um, the other thing I want you to understand, we got a lot of questions about chemicals versus natural hair. Now, let me address this real quick. This is something that we come, we get questions about all day long, natural versus chemical hair. It is a choice. Now, let me explain to you the choice. If you're going to a professional and they say to you that your hair can no longer, whether it's a stylist, a trichologist, or a dermatologist, and they look at your hair and they say, 
You can no longer get relaxers. You can no longer get perms. You can no longer get highlights. You can no longer get color. They should be able to, term, to determine what it is you can and you cannot get. Um, uh, um, so you need to meet with someone professionally to make that decision. Don't blame it on the chemical. Figure out whether it is that you can or cannot get it. Then you determine the decisions that you want to make. They're talking about the big chop. I love the big chop. If you decide that you want to go from chemicals to natural hair, then fine. But don't say or spread a rumor or to go out and talk about that chemicals are damaging everybody's hair. That is not the case. It is the people who are applying the chemicals to the hair that is damaging the hair. Because if they knew your hair, if they knew your hair, they would know they can't use it. If they knew your hair, they would know what they can use. If they knew your hair and your scalp, they would knew, know what, what's in the product. What can they use? They would do a strand test. When is the last time you've been to a professional where they did a strand test to see if that chemical is right for you or not? Not many people do that anymore. We got to go back to the basics. And ladies and gentlemen, you got to interview, you got to interview the professional before you get those services. Don't just run and jump in somebody's chair just to get a hairstyle. You got to talk to them about what their services are. Talk to them about what condition you, you have, what problems you're having internally, externally, all those sorts of things. Don't just think you can go to a salon and get a service and it's going to be okay. And hairstylists, professionals, people in this industry, Industry. Stop doing it for the money or doing it for the assembly line. That means putting them in, putting them out, putting them in, putting them out, putting them in, putting them out. Seeing how many people that you can get in your chair for that day for the amount of income that you want to make for that day. It's not about that. It's about quality service, knowing your craft, doing what you need to do to service the client, and making sure that they're getting the proper products and so on and so forth. That's how we create the faith. That's how we create the understanding in our industry, which is now diminishing. Right now, you, the consumer, don't have faith in us because we're not doing what we supposed to do to service you. So you got to hold your you got to hold them accountable and we got to hold ourselves accountable to give a one service to you. Here's the other question people are always asking me. I got a question the other day. Is your product for Caucasian hair? Is your product for Korean hair? Is your product for this type of hair? Such and such and such and such. Listen. Come closer. Come closer. Hair is hair. Hair is hair. When we go to hair school, when we go to trichology school, we study hair. We don't study what color you are. We don't study what heritage you're from. We do not study what it is that the color of your skin, whether it makes a difference or not. Product is product. We should just know what product is best for you. So those of you who keep inboxing me, those of you who keep inboxing me from all over the country and out of the country, is this for white hair? Is this Korean? It's for all hair. Anybody that you go to has been trained on all types of hair and they should understand it. Now, they've been trained, but if they have not practiced enough on all types of hair, then they cannot address those issues if they have not familiarized themselves with African-American hair or familiarized themselves with uh, Caucasian hair or familiarized themselves with um, African hair or Korean hair, then they're not, that's not their specialty. Then that person is not for you, for your hair type. But we have been taught those things. So products that are made can be for all hair types, but is it for your hair type in particular based on what the professional is going to tell you based on the consultation that they do for you? Stop going to these beauty supply stores thinking they know what it is that you need for your hair type. Go to a professional. Even just go for a consultation. You don't have to buy the product from the professional. Go to the consultation, figure it out, 
then you can determine what it is that you need. But if you're going to go to CVS, and I love CVS, don't get me wrong. I love Target, don't get me wrong. I love Walmart, I like Neiman Marcus, I like Saks, I like Bloomingdale's, I like all the department stores. But if you continue to go to these places and you talk to people that don't know anything about your hair and your scalp, first go to the professional and pay Pay for a consultation so you can determine what is right for you and your hair and your scalp for your hair type. That's what you need to do. Stop taking your hair matters and your scalp matters into your own hands that you don't have a degree with. Let's bring the professionalism back to our industry and you respect us enough and we will respect ourselves enough to give you the right service that you deserve and you desire. That's all I'm asking. Now, if you have these issues, a lot of the calls that we received on yesterday were men and women between the ages of 40 and 60. And all of them were asking the same question. Why am I losing my hair? Why am I balding in the crown? Why am I balding around the edges? And why am I balding in the back? Every, I was answering questions till after midnight last night. Hey, Robin, I was asking questions left and right. The reason why they were calling is because we came up with a product, but they did not know whether this product was going to fix their situation. And because they don't understand their situation, they were reluctant on getting the product or where they should go to fix it. They don't know if their problem is permanent. They don't know if their problem can be saved. They don't know if they're in, you know, there was another lady that called me. She was premenopausal. She was on high blood pressure medication and she had a thyroid disorder. That is a triple threat to the hair. So what she needed to know was what it was she could do for her problem. So the first thing we said was, well, before we answer any of your questions, we need you to go to our website and you need to fill out our consultation form. Then based on that, I can determine by asking those questions on a consultation for what I could suggest. But if that person could make an appointment to also come into our clinic or go into Dr. Shawan's clinic or other people or other hairstylists uh, at salons the, where they can... Um, go and get their consultations to determine what their problem is or their situation is, then we can determine what products are best for them. Stop. I, I see people. Uh, uh, I went to a client's house the other day for a consultation. She paid me to come to her house. And under her sink, she had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of products trying to fix her situation. And guess what the problem was with her situation? High blood pressure medication. If she would have known that the high blood pressure medication was affecting her hair and scalp, she would have not continued to buy products to try to fix the issue. We would have known the issue from there. If she would have went to a professional that was professional, that was professional, that would have given her the proper consultation, then she could have, she could have gotten the right answer. So because she did not do that, she spent thousands of dollars thousands of dollars, thousands of trying to fix her situation. Now, people said to me, people said to me, uh, well, Dr. Harley, um, there's plenty of products on the line. Out, out, there's plenty of products that are out here. Absolutely. There are plenty of products uh, that I know of. There's Monet, there's my product, there's Keith Harley's, there's Barry Fletcher's, there's um, um, my buddy Roger Gore, who is in, um, uh, uh, what is the store? He's in out here in Wegmans. Uh, love you, Roger. Love you, um, all, uh, my buddy Tony Cozart, who's down in South Carolina, North Carolina. He has an amazing product line. Listen, when you run out of hair, hair Marion, when you run out of hair and skin, everybody's dead. So I don't believe in competition. I don't believe in um, not mentioning my, my people that I work with. It's, a, it's enough hair, enough skin for everybody. So if you feel that you want to purchase a certain person's product or whatever the case may be, great, fine, purchase it. But first, make sure it is the right product for you, your hair, and your scalp. 
Don't continue to spend a lot of money for things that don't work. Get educated and stop. I love YouTube. YouTube, you know I love you because this video is going on YouTube. <laughs> but stop thinking that you're going to get your degree. Stop thinking that you're going to get your degree off YouTube. That is not going to happen. It's, you know, they, we, there's a lot of people that come up with these home remedies, uh, which are great, but we don't know if that's the particular thing for you. So, you know, go to a professional first, then go to YouTube and try to find what they told you to do. So I'm trying to think of one other thing that was a call that I got last night, uh, menopause. So that's a major, major issue. There are some people that have come to us that did not even know that they were suffering from menopause. There were some people that came to us uh, that uh, was premenopausal, that we sent them to a doctor to get their blood work done, that their hormone levels were low, so on and so forth. Stylists, trichologists, people that are out here in the beauty industry, clearly understand if you don't know where the problem is, if you don't know the problem, it's okay to send your client to a doctor to get the proper services they need to understand what is going on with their body, their hair, their skin, and their scalp. It's okay because they're going to respect you enough to come back and say, this is what's wrong. This is what I need. It's okay. And so you're not going to lose the client, but don't try to create something that's wrong um, and it's not what it is. Uh, someone just said, I heard about organic rice and water. Organic, I, I, let me tell you, I heard about that as well. It's great. Um, it does work. I don't know if it creates much hair growth, but from what I understand, it does help. And speaking of which, let me tap on this last thing. Let me tap on this last thing. This is the bonus for today. Those of you who call me and say, is your product natural? Now, this is going to be good, so I hope you're ready for this. Is your product natural? Now, let me explain to you what that is. Um, bring them on the case. Okay, let me explain to you what that is. If the product is natural, hear where I'm coming from. It came out of the field. It came from the vegetable department. Hey, Gloria Mayfield Banks. It came from some natural substance. You know, the product, like, like um, a banana, an apple, whatever the case may be. If it's natural and it's all organic and no preservatives or anything in it, it's not going to last more than three days. If you take a banana and you put it on a table, how long will it take to turn brown? Everything that you buy off the shelf or from anybody that, and they tell you that it's natural or organic and it's all natural products, there is some type of preservative in the product to make it whole. Yeah, it may have natural ingredients mixed in it, but it doesn't mean that it's 100% natural. So I want you to understand that there are some preservatives in the product to hold it so it will last. Often, sometimes when you all purchase product, it goes from the warehouse. No, it goes from the chemist to the developer to the warehouse to the to the distributor and to the shelves. It has to preserve to get to you. So always understand that natural organic thing. Don't get caught up in that. It's not what you think it is. I'm, and I'm not trying to down all these other companies out here. We all work together, but the truth is the truth. And what you're going to get from Dr. Harley is the truth. So what you need to do is before you go out and buy another product, before you run out here and look for something that's going to save you, call and get a consultation. Ask questions. Make sure you clearly understand what is the problem that you're having so that we in this business can provide you with the right product, the right solutions to help you fix your problem. If it's fixable, or we can be in a situation where we are, um, where we can be preventive or we can be corrective or whatever the case may be. But understand, 
Give your hair, give your scalp back to the professional. Stop being a kitchen, closet, living room, dining room, beautician, or whatever you want to call it. And remember, stop calling and asking. Stop emailing me. Stop sending messages saying, is this for my hair type? Hair is hair. One is curlier and coarse. One is loose. So all my Korean friends out there, all my white friends out there, all my Hispanic friends out there, all, all of y'all, all of y'all, black folks after everybody, everybody, you're just a different color. It's all hair. It's just texture. It's just, that's what we're taught in school. So understand, if we have a particular solution for you, we will help you with your situation. All right. So listen, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I just wanted to do this because we had a product launch yesterday of a product called Stimumax, which is uh, related to uh, minoxidil and Rogaine. We are so excited about that. But what happened was because they saw the product, people went crazy. They started calling us and the phone was ringing and I was answering calls all night long. And I decided, listen, let's talk about hair loss. Let's talk about these issues that our people are having. Let's talk about solutions for your situation. Let's talk about bringing the professionalism back to the, to, to the business. Let's talk about back to the basics. Let's talk about you not doing what you're not licensed to do and go to somebody that is. Let's talk about you stop hanging in those beauty supply stores thinking they're going to help you. They can help you temporarily, but are, are they going to fix the situation forever? Understand what you're doing. Understand what they're doing. Get in this and respect our industry so we can respect ourselves and give you what you need. Thank you so much for tuning in. And just so you know, for those of you, if you share this live right now or this recording, if you see this, share this, you will be added. You will be added to a drawing for free product. So share this right now. You will be added for a free drawing of product. Every time I do a live, there's a free drawing. If we did not answer any of your questions, put them in the comments below. We will, me and Kareem is my sister. We'll go through them and answer all of your questions. We will be in touch with you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sharing. And thank you for allowing me into your phone, your office, your computer, all of that, your iPad today to help you with your hair loss, hair and scalp situations and solutions. This is Dr. Carly Harley. Thank you. Have a fantastic day.